What really excites me at the moment is the randomised trials that are out there. Um, with respect to drugs, actually, we have an immunotherapy trial called CONFIRM. And this is really a placebo-controlled randomised phase 3 trial. We also have the PROMISE study, which is a phase 3 trial looking at immunotherapy versus chemotherapy. Um, and in the second line setting, we're really trying to define, uh, hopefully, um, for uh, satisfaction of people in the community, whether vinaralbin is a drug that has you know, a genuine um, measurable benefit and how big that benefit is essentially. This is the VIM trial. And it's actually within that trial that we're looking at a particular biomarker strategy, again, focused around something called a spindle assembly checkpoint and the regulator BRCA, possibly linked to black BAP1, as I've mentioned, um, and MAG2L to see whether or not any of these particular proteins will serve as biomarkers for identifying who will benefit from that treatment. So if these trials, these randomized trials read out as positive, we will change practice. And we haven't really done that definitively since 2003, uh, when the original chemotherapy um, you know, was shown to work and is now our standard. We're seeing an acceleration now in the number of advances, uh, not just within the UK, but worldwide. But I think the UK's role really is in the randomization of drugs. And that's really where we see incremental changes, incremental benefit. And um, it's great to see that the UK is leading in that front.